A study by Chinese scientists suggests that COVID-19 may spread faster in colder temperatures. The researchers from Sun Yat-sen University in Guangzhou compiled a list of every confirmed infection of the coronavirus that causes the disease. The database covers January 20th to February the 4th and compares infection dates to official meteorological data from across China or for the capital cities of the affected country. Temperature could significantly change COVID-19 transmission, said the study, which was published in February. It has yet to be peer-reviewed, but in the meantime, the scientists suggest that countries and regions with a lower temperature adopt the strictest measures. News of the study comes as Chinese authorities report significant progress in containing the spread of the virus. On March the 9th, China's National Health Commission announced 40 new coronavirus infections, its lowest daily increase since late January. All but four of the new cases were in the city of Wuhan, where the outbreak first began. The remaining infections were found in Gansu province, but authorities say those cases were imported by people traveling from Iran, rather than local transmission. This makes it three straight days since China had any new non-imported infections outside Hubei province. But other countries are reporting dramatic spikes in new infections and deaths. Cases in South Korea have surpassed 7,000. Northern Italy has been put under lockdown, as officials reported 133 new deaths on March the 8th. And Saudi Arabia has locked down an area that is home to half a million people in an effort to stop the spread of the virus. It's the first action of its kind in the Gulf region. So far, more than 230 people in the kingdom have been confirmed to have COVID-19. Such infections in warmer climates suggest that warmer temperatures may not limit the virus's activity. A separate study conducted by researchers at Harvard University found transmissions occur rapidly across a range of humidity conditions, from what's found in the cold and dry provinces of northeast China to tropical locations of the southwest or as far south as Singapore. Weather alone, such as an increase of temperature and humidity as the spring and summer months arrive in the Northern Hemisphere, will not necessarily lead to declines in case counts without the implementation of extensive public health interventions, the study said. The Harvard study is also awaiting peer review, while other experts say that if the novel coronavirus is like many other viral pathogens, then we could be seeing the number of cases decrease as weather gets warmer. But the head of the health emergencies program at the World Health Organization says at this early stage, we should not count on summer bringing any relief. We have to assume the virus will continue to have the capacity to spread, said Mike Ryan. It's a false hope to say, yes, it will disappear.